This is an article that was in the newspapers, the Patriot Press in the 18th century. I tend to find these normally by looking through newspapers, which are generally on microfilm or in special collections. This one, however, I found in a specific collection, which is called the American Archives, added by Peter Force. And what Peter Force did in the early 19th century was go and collect records from newspapers, from state papers, committee papers, and gather them together in several volumes and publish them as part of forming a documentary history of the American Revolution. So this is a report that appeared in the colonial press. I'm not sure exactly where. My guess is Boston or Hartford, possibly more than one press, because they tended to copy the reports from each other. That's how they got their news from other newspapers. And it's a report from Providence, Rhode Island. The reason I'm interested in this sort of document is that I'm trying to get a kind of close to the ground look at the American Revolution. I want to know what the Patriot Movement was like, the movement from, say, 1765 through the Revolution of people protesting parliamentary taxation and legislation. And I want to know less about the leading men who met in conventions and congresses and who petitioned the king. I know a fair amount about them. I want to know about people in the, on the local ground, ordinary people, women as well as men, and I want to know what was it like for them to become patriots. And the questions I, I would bring to looking at these reports in newspapers would include what is this telling me about ordinary people's participation, not just what ideas might they bring to joining the revolution or becoming a patriot, but also what practices, what things do they have to do to be a patriot? How do you, how do you practice uh, being a patriot? What does it really mean to join this movement? And what's it like, again, not in the official bodies that we think of as patriot leaders, but kind of on the local ground, in this case in Providence, Rhode Island.